Chromebook presents Jeremy Lin on the adulthood, a series about finding your way in the modern world. Hello, hello, I'm Jeremy Lin, and this is The Adulthood. We're talking about how to deal with the pressure of expectations and getting out of your own head. When we're growing up, our parents will always tell us, make sure you savor the moment where you embrace the journey. You had to make mistakes and you have to wrestle with that. It's not gonna look pretty every day and that's okay. Growing up Asian American and playing basketball, you are always the underdog. You are always overlooked. It's always an uphill climb. My rookie year, after I signed with the Warriors, it felt like everybody was watching and everybody was expecting me to do something. I couldn't eat before games. I couldn't sleep before games. What ended up happening was I didn't play well. What I struggled with was overthinking. What if everyone gets disappointed in me or you're not built for this or you're wilting under the pressure right now as we speak. That's a really dangerous situation to get into when you feel like your accomplishments define who you are as a person. If somebody is struggling with overthinking, try to break it down and make it really simple. You have to strip away fluff so that you can really get to the core of like, what is the most important thing that I need to do? Identify these questions or these doubts that you're having and focus only on one or two of them that you can really, really attack and, and, and remind yourself about. The second thing I think is to talk to people around you and let them speak truth into your life. What strengths do I have? Hey, if you're really going through something, just call somebody you love. Don't block out your emotions. You need to find people and environments where you can have dialogue. I'm a big proponent of therapy to really talk through certain issues. We can lean on each other. That's what we're here for. And technology allows you to do that. One thing that I will say is if you are not content and satisfied today, you will not be content and satisfied when you get to the destination, if you get to the destination. With Linsanity, I had everything from the outside looking in, but I didn't have a deep purpose and I wasn't content and fulfilled before I got to the mountaintop. So when I did get to the mountaintop, I also was not fulfilled. And that's why I would emphasize, find out why you're doing what you're doing. Find a deep purpose so that you don't feel like you have to accomplish things to feel whole inside. Even though I don't have an MBA job, I'm sad, don't get me wrong, but I'm joyful. The difference between happiness and joy is that happiness kind of rides with the circumstances of life. Being joyful and content goes above that where it's like a deeper sense of like, this is who I am. As you go through life, your definition of greatness or success will change. And so instead of comparing yourself to other people, the real comparison is yourself. Can I be the best version of myself? Can I be better than I was yesterday? There's something beautiful about giving your best effort and having high integrity and character when no one is looking. And it's in those situations where you have to keep reminding yourself, I owe it to myself to do my best. And I can't let the outside noise tell me who I am or whether I'm good enough. That has to come from within.